A video game came to life at UBC today with students competing in their very own version of Mario Kart. Teams created self-driving robots as part of an engineering physics course, and many are planning to take these skills beyond the racetrack, whether it's in a lab or even in space. CTV's Alyssa Tebow reports. <laughs> It wasn't your usual day of learning. It's been really fun. <laughs> you had a lot of fun. Fully autonomous robots going head to head on a Mario Kart track, complete with a rainbow road. The students have built everything from scratch. This is not kits, this is not Lego. They've done all the mechanics, all the electronics, all the software. The rules seem pretty simple, with points for doing laps and picking up mystery blocks. She goes really fast and picks up blocks while she's going. Her name is Getaway Car, yeah. after Taylor Swift's song, <laughs> Getaway Car. There were tumbles and crashes. One team stuck with a basic plan. We thought, like, laps the most efficient, the most stable way to go. And for that reason, we decided to optimize our robot for speed. To know where to go, reflector sensors are fitted underneath, so the robot knows where the black tape is. It just shoots a beam of light, and depending if it's reflecting white or black, to know where we're going. Graduates of this program have gone on to create biotech companies, work in space exploration, and also AI. So this heated competition has a lot of possibilities. We have quantum computing, quantitative finance, healthcare, biotech, uh, rocketry, aerospace, uh, lots of robotics, lots of AI right now, so it's absolutely everything. I want to be an astronaut. I was personally into biotech and I am still there and surprisingly the automation, like automated surgery and stuff, was very limited. Hard work through summer that didn't feel too much like work at all. It really helped take the edge off all of the times that we were in the lab till midnight. Alyssa Tebow, CTV News, Vancouver.